Hello, I'm Parrish Alford. I'm here with the Terminator, John Davis, and we are going to give you some rapid reaction from the Hugh Freeze press conference. I guess, J.D., the biggest thing to learn today was don't call Channing Ward fat. Don't call him fat. I think that's that would be two, though. I think the other thing is don't talk about Alabama. Don't talk about Alabama. That's Do not also talk big, about Alabama. And, and, you know, while um, – that's still next it's, week. Yeah, it's still next week, and this is the Memphis game, obviously. But look, a lot of people are talking about Alabama. Not good if the Rebels start talking about Alabama. And Hugh Free says they certainly are not going to do that, and they are quite uh, uh, aware of everything that Memphis has accomplished through three games and that this is not the program that it was you know, a couple of years ago. I don't think it is, and I, and I think you've got to pay attention to Memphis if you're Ole Miss and the coaching staff. I understand his point, though. I mean, it, 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 it you, you can't get away from it if we keep talking about it, but yet at the same time, like you said, our listeners, our readers, our whatever want to know about it. And we still we can look ahead, and we still have to kind of get some semblance of talking about Alabama. Heck, we had to report the time that it's 2.30. It's a CBS game. I mean, they're, it's still very relevant as a whole, but I think for them they've got to, they've got to put blinders on. It's got to be tough if you're, if you're a, a football player and involved in social media and seeing all those, those, those tweets about the game and the excitement about it. Uh, it, 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 this is a tough. This is a tough week because you don't want to look overlook a Memphis team that's much better. That's right. But you know, we, you know, we do look at the big picture. We do look at the season, and and we look at more than one game at a time. Now, it doesn't appear to be uh, what the Rebels are doing right now. And that's a good thing. Another good thing is uh, Itavius Mathers is back. It looks like the running backs will be at full strength for Memphis, and Memphis has been uh, pretty good defensively. Hugh Freeze talked a lot about the the aggression that he sees from the Tigers on film. And uh, this is, you know, when we go back to what we thought of the Ole Miss schedule in August, you know, we were thinking Vanderbilt, Louisiana Lafayette would be really competitive games. Memphis uh, could turn out to be this, their toughest non-conference team. I know that I thought about this game if I had to just, you know, after looking at it, and, and, and even though I thought they were going to be an, a, a pretty decent team on defense and they had been last year, I thought it would almost be like a double bye. Um, you could almost play a lot more people. And, and, and work on Alabama. A little yeah. Bit. yeah, and I, yeah. I really think because of the way it's set up, Alabama will have an advantage over Ole Miss because they actually have a bye that can work on Ole Miss. I don't think Ole Miss can really do as much as on Alabama. I'm not saying that they won't, but I think if they can, if they don't, if they if they have to balance it the right way, or else Memphis will get them. They are talented enough to come in here and hold their own. Well, if if what the players is telling us is true, there's been no uh, insertion of an Alabama game plan or anything to this point. If there has been, it's been a, a very big secret, a, a well kept secret. Uh, what we're hearing from Channing Ward, uh, Fadal Brown, and others today was. It's all about Memphis. It's respect for where this program is right now, and it's not looking ahead to Alabama. And and look, uh, as we look down the schedule, you know, you go from Alabama to Texas A&M. You know, I mean, it's it's that this time of year. It's the week, SEC West. Yeah, and this is a seven week gauntlet now. I mean, the the, the, the bye week's over. The next bye week comes after a seven week A&M, Alabama, Tennessee, uh, Auburn. I mean, th this is a very LSU. All those games are wrapped up in here. We have no break. I mean, this is going to decide Ole Miss's fate. Where are they going to be after these seven weeks? Are they three and four? Are they four and three? Are they five and two? I mean, you know, if you're much better than five, if you're five and two or better, you are in great shape. Um, if you're four and three, you're still in pretty decent shape. But, but we're going to know a lot more about this team starting this week with Memphis game. Well, I, I did some notes on the SEC West on the blog at InsideOleMissSports.com. And the, the SEC West right now, against largely non-conference schedule, is 24-2. and two. And I compared that with other divisions around the nation. Nobody else. Not is, even close. Not, not even yeah. close. I mean, you go, go to the Pac-12, and you've got uh, the, the, the South Division has three losses, the North Division five. They're playing with fewer teams. I mean, nobody else is close to 24-2, and two, and you look at uh, some of the quality wins in those 26 games, you've got uh, Arkansas and Texas Tech. You've got uh, Texas A&M against South Carolina. You've got some SEC on SEC violence there. Alabama, West Virginia, you know, Ole Miss and Boise State, 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 State and LSU. I mean, there are some quality wins in there. And the games that were not high-level opponents – you know, there aren't any. There haven't been nail biters. All of these SEC West teams are winning by huge margins against the Louisiana Lafayettes, the South Alabamas, the teams like that. If you thought the SEC West was good before the last few years, it's better because Arkansas is better. 
The yeah. worst team last year is better. And it's just it's quite evident. Clearly, clearly better. They are clearly mm-hmm. better, and I'm willing to believe that they are going to hold their own uh, for at least a half, if not longer, against Texas A&M. I think Texas A&M is – we're going to know a lot more about them, too, by playing Arkansas. How do they deal with the run? They haven't dealt with a team like that. Um, I, I just think I just think this, this, these, this side of the conference is very good, and it's about to be really tough for Ole Miss, starting with Memphis, because Memphis well, is probably going to be the best team that and, they've and played here's the thing. for of, three or four yeah, games. One of the focuses of the bye week for Ole Miss was run defense, okay? Can they get more consistent in run defense? You know, frankly, we've seen teams have some success running the ball for periods of time, not for the whole game, because you look where the Rebels are in scoring defense, still very good but can they become more consistent against the run? One reason, teams haven't run the whole game. They've fallen behind. So, I mean, that's that's one reason, perhaps, mm-hmm. that they have not had more consistent success against Ole Miss. We know that the Rebels have talked about the need for greater gap responsibility, fewer assignment busts. I mean, these are things. Th- this was a big focus of the open date week. And, and look, Memphis is going to have a good rushing offense. But you look at the team's that they're going to face in the SEC West. They need to get this fixed when you look at look at how Auburn runs the ball, how Arkansas and teams every, that, Everybody runs the ball. And the other thing to look at, too, Parrish, is these teams, even if they fall behind, they're going to have to be really behind for Alabama to stop running the ball. Right. Uh, Auburn's going to have to be really behind for them to stop running the ball. These are the teams that, that are bread-and-butter running game type teams. They will not stop running the ball even if they're behind 10 or 14 points. They're going to have to be three, four scores for them to stop doing that. Folks, that's it for Rapid Reaction this week. Come back and join us on the blog during the week, inside OleMissSports.com.